Hi everyone and welcome back. I woke up one morning last week to this image. And it really got me thinking about a couple of things. First, a little review of K-pop math. K-pop math is when fans take two unrelated images, add them together, and come up with a conclusion or prediction about an idol or group. Sometimes they are very, very, very wrong. Like when someone found out that JYP had trademarked the name Twinsy, and everyone assumed it would be a mega group like Got the Beat. Instead, it was Itsy Plushies. That math didn't add up, but this K-pop math turned out a little different. Take this water bomb plus this, and what does it equal? Nyan come back. Okay, so that's the first thing I thought about. The second thing is, what will Nyan's comeback be like if she is performing at Waterbomb? Waterbomb is a music festival in Korea and other locations that's been around for almost 10 years. The thing that makes Waterbomb different is that the audience praise each other and the performers with water constantly. Performers can spray the audience back if they're brave enough. Most international K-pop fans have experienced the festival via extremely viral fan cams. I think we all have an idea of what Waterbomb is all about and how it's different from other music festivals. I think we can also sort of profile K-pop groups and decide if they're aligned to Waterbomb or not. Like Card, definitely a Waterbomb group. And Mix, not really a group that would work at Waterbomb. The audience for the festival is older and less K-pop oriented for sure. Before I get much farther, I do acknowledge that there are some problems when idols participate in Waterbomb. The best example I can think of is when Idol performed in 2022. Idol definitely feels like a Waterbomb kind of group, but I'm not sure their experience was totally positive. Shua was visibly uncomfortable and later talked about how angry she was that fans were spraying water in her eyes, that it was painful and it really impacted her performance. I obviously don't love this. When the idols are into it and participating and it's all in fun, then we're all enjoying it. But this was something different. <laughs> With that said, there's also a lot to love about this specific festival. Waterbomb gives us something very different from any other stage. I've been saying all along that there are definitely K-pop idols who are more of Waterbomb type than others. The first type we often see at Waterbomb is a group or a soloist whose concept is sexier, club-oriented, or darker. Poppy, bright, and cute concepts are more rare and don't fit the vibe. Bright and Poppy group Oh My Girl did play the festival, but much later into their career. I find it hard to imagine a group like Eunice at Waterbomb. Classic examples of well-known performers are Jessie and Wasa, but Blackpink also perform at Waterbomb early in their careers. A second type of idol we see at the festival are those who are actively trying to change their image. A great example of this is Kwon Unbi. Obviously, I was going to have to mention her at some point in this video since her performance at last year's event was pretty much inescapable. <laughs> When we 
talk about this performance, let's remember that Unbi was 27 years old when she went viral. At that point, she was probably best known by casual fans for appearing on Produce 48 and then becoming the leader of Eyes One. And Eyes One was a group that was bright and poppy and cute right up to their disbandment. Let's give Unbi some agency and assume she chooses how she appeared at Waterbomb. If this wasn't a calculated move to change her image to better reflect her adult status and shed the cutesy eyes one baggage, then I would be surprised. And that brings us back to Nyan. Viewers from the near future will have the benefit of hearing her new comeback and seeing her video, but for right now, all I can do is speculate. And what I see is an adult idol. Nyan is 28 years old. And all reports indicate that TWICE members have a decent amount of input into their careers at this point. So, is Nyan planning on changing her image of a cute and bright idol into something new? Maybe. I mean, she's still a JYP idol and seriously seems to love being cute. So, I don't know how far she wants to go or how far fans want her to go. But it's an interesting choice. And I think it signals an interesting change. What do you think? Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. This is Lace. Till next time.